17? You'll pay for what you did to Krillin! This bastard's keeping absorbing my energy. Way to smart. Kamehame! Splendid! Hit me harder, Goku! I got you! <laughs> There's so much more fun when you're angry! Damn, just what the hell is this freak? I've got yeah. just the trick up my sleeve to one up you, you pet. Electro Eclipse Ball! <laughs> A fight for another day, son. Doctor, location analysis? I assume this portal would likely lead us to hell as it did before. But my hypothesis was flawed. This world is entirely foreign to my registry. <laughs> ah yes, you've sustained a substantial amount of damage from that blow Sun Goku dealt. Not to worry, my dear cyborg. Upon finalizing this basic repair, we shall accept our revenge. What's this? My data seems to be tracking a rather notable power level. I deduce it must be Son Goku. What say we give him a little bit of a reintroduction present? My thoughts exactly, Doctor. the handsome face you've got there, stranger. Well, this is a rather interesting development. My, you're quite the comedian, aren't you? And while I would ordinarily be flattered by such an obvious imitation, hurting the animals is definitely not something I'd recommend, if you're not particularly partial to being blown to smithereens. <laughs> it's a fool. You seem to have mistaken me for that sniveling coward, Jerome. Behold, for I am Dr. Miu! A brilliant scientist with the most astute intellect of all the glorious Tuffle race! <sighs> Whatever. If you ask me, I think the whole mustachioed psychotic mad scientist shtick got old years ago. But I guess I can always blast you back to the past, along with your creepy impersonator over there. It would be unwise to let such bravado go to your head. This impersonator is the ultimate android, Super 17! His potential likens cells to that of an ant, and by proxy, yours to that of an atom. I'm shaking. Look, I'm gonna break this down to you as simply as I can. Either turn around now, or things are going to get quite complicated for you. Oh really? Your big grandiose mouth, quite long enough! You are nothing. You are nothing but a single, inferior android! An outdated model! A washing machine! The most you talk too much, Doctor. And you? You have a doctor to catch. I'd say he only has a few seconds before he reaches the vacuums of space. Really? Then allow me to be of assistance. He was rather annoying anyway. My guess is that you have no interest in joining sides, right? With the likes of you? Pass. I've got something to protect. And even if I didn't, I don't think your hardware could keep up. Your specs are pretty subpar. You're going to regret that when I send you to the scrap heap. I don't seem to recall myself possessing such a burning desire for death. 
Well then, it seems like you're not the most self-aware android on the market. Who are you little? You're quite the disappointing mimic. I was expecting a little more kick to your attacks than that. It looks like you're not the piss ant I took you for. You'll be happy to know that wasn't even a fraction of my full power. Now's your last chance. Surrender, and I'll let you walk away from this with your life. And maybe a few pets if you're respectful about it. <sighs> Take this, you Imperial model! I think I've had just about enough of you. Your jabbering gives me a headache. <sighs> this is getting more troublesome than I expected. Damn it. Guess I really don't have a choice but to lay out the bait. Guess you're not such a peon after all. Why don't you go ahead and give me a little taste of your power? <laughs> I hate to break it to you, you fragile little thing. You're a bit too... breakable to stand up to me. And since you've made quite a disturbance in the ecosystem as well... Any last words? Well, look at that. Guess all it took was a little ego bruising to shut your trap. Time for me to end this. What's your Friend. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. That one actually managed to tickle. So what's your gimmick? Another android that can absorb energy, huh? <laughs> and then some. Well, well. You're marginally less boring than you were before. I wonder how much you can take without exploding into a mess of bolts and wires. I guess we'll see, won't we? Us androids have infinite energy, don't we? Let's see which of us can journey into infinity quicker, shall we? <laughs> An interesting proposal. I have been slacking a little on my workouts trying to preserve this Minotaurus habitat. Think fast. <laughs> ah, yes. You'll make a fine addition to the perfect being. <laughs> I must admit, you're vastly superior to the two seventeens that make up the core of my being. However, with the addition of you, the universe will be mine! And there will be nobody in my way! No obstacle too great to overcome! The world will be crushed under my heel! <laughs> no! You, you monster! <laughs> oh, wow. You really thought you had me, didn't you? None of those hits were even worth a warm-up. I'd throw you to my brother-in-law for a warm-up, if anything. You should have seen the look on your face, though. You were so sure of yourself. How the hell did you... You cocky, battery charged son of a bitch! Music to my ears. I don't care how fast or strong you are! Here's my full power! This would shred that wretched Saiyan to Swiss cheese! The last moments of your life will involve nothing but blistering agony! I'll put everything I've got into this one! You scrap metal! Electro! Eclipse! Boom! If 
infinite energy, huh? Looks like you bit off a bit more than you could chew. <laughs>